Hi, welcome back to Sotoku Tech. In this video, previously, I showed that the new T decks are shipping with a much larger patch antenna. Yeah, when I originally got the T deck when it first came out, it was like a year ago or something. Yeah, this was the first one I got. I got it, as, I think I actually pre ordered it, and it came with this tiny little inch and a half patch antenna. And the new one comes with a big four inch patch antenna. Um, when I flashed th m that T deck with MeshTastic, I put this 175 millimeter antenna on it, and that works great. I'm getting all around the mesh all over town. Okay, so here's how that patch antenna fits inside the case. I'm just going to leave it in there gently. And we're just going to snap this case shut for uh, the testing purposes. You're going to want to watch my previous video to learn more about this 3D printed case. And we're going to check these out, testing the patch antenna against the 175 millimeter antenna. So I'm pairing up with 5A98, that's the one with the patch antenna, and it flashes the Bluetooth pairing code on the screen. And we go ahead and type that in, and we're going to get paired off with 5A98. And of course, the first thing we want to do once it loads up, there it comes, connected, and we can get to work now. Yeah, see where it says unset? We got to set the region right out the gate. Set it to US, and that's going to trigger a reboot. Now we're going to get back in. You can see everything loading up. And we're going to be looking at RSSI and signal to noise ratio uh, against the front window, which is 20A8, and then the rooftop antenna is 7C2D. I'm just trace routing to get them to come to the top of the list. Okay, minus 34, signal to noise ratio is 5.8. Let's compare that with the other one here. Okay, so the patch antenna T deck is on the left hand side of the screen here. And on the right hand side of the screen, we have the 175 millimeter antenna T deck. And you can see pinging the window unit. On the patch antenna, we have an RSSI of minus 34 with a signal to noise ratio of 5.8. And on the longer antenna T deck unit, we have an RSSI of minus 30, signal to noise is 6.0. So that's a pretty close number. Let's go ahead and let's ping 7D2C, that's my rooftop antenna. There, when we put these side by side, you can see the patch unit has an RSSI of minus 55, signal to noise is 6.8, whereas the long antenna T deck has a minus 44 RSSI, signal to noise ratio is 6.3, so these numbers are still pretty close. Now I'm going to do something mundane and ping between the two and check the readings there. Yeah, so the long antenna shows up as a minus 5 RSSI, signal to noise 7.5, and the patch antenna shows up as a minus 5 RSSI, signal to noise 7.5. Now this is the window unit, and it gets me all over town just fine. It's the same 175 millimeter antenna. I'm going to do a trace route to Mount Lemon. And we'll talk about how far away Mount Lemon is in a moment. There we go. Wow, we went directly from the window to Mount Lemon. So let's click on those GPS coordinates and see where Mount Lemon is. There we go. East Cap Rock Trail. And we scroll out. And it looks to be about 20 miles away from that blue spot, which is where my house is. It's somewhere out here in the mountains. It's pretty far away. So I put the patch antenna unit on my work desk, which is near a window as well. Both of those windows are facing north. And I did just a random trace route, but you can see my first hop is Mount Lemon. So the patch antenna made contact with the Mount Lemon node, 20 miles away. All right, leave a comment down below. Give this video a like, and before you watch more of my Lily Go T-Deck videos or my larger Mesh-tastic playlist, please, Click on subscribe. Thank you very much.